Hi, I'm Ryan Gingrich, The Behaviorist. Today we're in Hitchcock, Texas, working with London from Habitat for Horses. Now London has a head shy problem and we're going to be working on bridling. So on today's show we're going to be working with London from uh, Habitat for Horses. Now London is a head shy horse and she has some issues there, right? So we're going to be working through those issues today uh, through, throughout the show. There's some specialized tools that you're going to need to get before you start this, this exercise. And you can find all of these tools on my website, ryangingrich.com. Now the very first thing you're going to need is a connection cue stick. It's just a, a, a cue stick that's been developed to be able to work with the type of horses that I work with all the time. You can also need a, an RG approved uh, halter and lead rope. Now once you have both those things, and again you can find them on my website, you're going to need to get a bridle, a full cheek snaffle bit, and a set of 10 foot continuous reins. Um, these are going to come in handy later on because we're actually going to be bridling the horse. So once we're through with getting our tools all put together, the next thing we're going to think about is why is London head shy? Well, head shy horses are, are, are pretty normal. Um, that's, that's a pretty normal thing. I see that quite often around the, the country and I actually deal with that quite often uh, with horses at the National Equine Behavior Center there in Troy, Missouri, where, where, where I live and, uh, and work. It's a natural thing for them to, to happen to, to a horse. You know, he's not, he's a, he's a prey animal, so he doesn't like being captured around his head. You know, having his head touched around his ears and, and whatnot, it's not a natural thing for him to do. Have somebody grabbing his muzzle, you know, or, or sticking, his, sticking your thumb in the side of his mouth, that's not very pleasant for him, but it's a necessary evil for him. It's something we are going to have to be able to do to be able to ride this horse. So how are we going to teach this horse to be able to bridle? And how are we going to get him over his head shy bridling issue? The way we're going to first start out by doing is just our normal basic control, our connective horsemanship level one DVD. We're going to be working through all that, that process of go, stop, turn left, turn right, back up and stand still. Standing still being the, the main process there. Then what we're going to do is start working with London, teaching her to drop her head, okay? Teaching her to put her head down, teaching her to be able to accept my hands around her head, around her muzzle, my thumb in her mouth so she'll open her mouth and let me accept that bit a lot easier. Okay, we're going to be working through that process. Then what we're going to be doing with the bridle and the lead rope is making a mock halter, mock, uh, excuse me, mock bridle out of that, that lead rope. And we're going to be putting it in the horse's mouth and taking it out, and put it in and taking it out. Once she's really good with that, then we'll move to the bridle. And the bridle is kind of the last stage. It's, that's, the, that's the goal. That's the end goal, what we're looking for from the horse. So to get to that point, there's a lot of different steps. So let's get to it after break. Um, so we'll do that in just a second. You guys stick around. Have you lost control? Do you wish there was a set of simple steps you could take to regain back the trust you've lost in your horse? Well, there is. It's my basic control DVD. This DVD has all the elements necessary for achieving control and gaining back the trust you've lost. Basic control has six fundamental parts. Each part is designed to give you a better understanding of your horse. I know you've been longing for a special relationship, and here's where it starts. Go to RyanGiggers.com. Get control, gain the trust you desire, and make that special connection. So get my basic control DVD now. Does your horse spook or jump at nearly everything? Stop that spooky nervous behavior today. Teach your horse to be calm and quiet and get back in the saddle safely again. Horse expert Ryan Gingrich offers real help with proven results. Equine expert Ryan Gingrich has traveled the nation helping thousands of spooky horses. Help for you and your horse is just a phone call away. Order now by calling 800-359-4090 or by going online to ryangingrich.com. Stop your horse from bucking now. Stop the bucking and start riding again. Equine behavior expert Ryan Gingrich has the solution. His two DVD set contains over two hours of easy to follow proven methods. Train your horse at home today. Order now and get Ryan's two bucking DVDs jam packed with over two hours of proven training methods to stop bucking. Plus, if you order right now, we'll give you a one month membership to Ryan's Connection Club absolutely free. But wait, that's not all. We will also send you a bonus one hour training DVD. Order the Stop Bucking DVD right now. You'll get two hours of training instruction on two DVDs, a free membership to the Connection Club, and a bonus DVD free. 
That's three DVDs worth over $100, a free one-month club membership, all for only $29.99. Call now or go online to order at ryangingrich.com. Call or go online now. All right, welcome back. I'm back here with London from Habitat for Horses. So we're working again on London's issue with bridling and her head shy issue with bridling. So the first thing we're gonna do is we can work through our basic controls. So the very first thing we're gonna do is take our cue stick here, ask London to take a couple steps forward. And we'll walk London forward for a few, few minutes and here and stop her and then ask her to back up. And as I'm asking her to back up, I'm basically taking my hand, placing it closer to her chest and moving those with those feet, adding pressure each time I want that foot to move. Each time the foot moves, I'm gonna go ahead and relax and re release that pressure. So I'll ask her to go forward again. And as we go forward again, I'm gonna to say to, to London, hey, why don't you stop your feet and back up a couple steps, all right? At this point, once we've done this five to seven times correctly, hundreds of times over, and she's doing it all correctly, then what I'm gonna do is start just kind of petting her in the, while I'm doing this. So she gets used to my hand being on her body, you know, around her head, you know, maybe on her cheeks here, and all that kind of stuff. So then I'll just stop and say, hey, let's go forward again. So we're gonna make this kind of a game for her. So she knows that each time we stop, we're gonna back up a little couple steps, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and pet her until she's doing what she's supposed to be doing, all right? If your horse is very head shy, you know, very ear shy, at this point, I might start rubbing on her forehead and then just quickly going over her head, all right? <clears throat> we'll go forward again and stop her and back her up. And again, I'll start rubbing on her body here, getting her used to my hand being around her face and her, and her body. If she starts to move her head away from me, I'm gonna do just what I did there and just kind of block that, that movement and say, that's not where I want you to be. All right, just want you to stay straight in front of me for right now. You know, I cover a lot of this, all this information is covered in my Head Shy Bridling DVD also, which can be found on my website, ryangingrich.com. So, We'll continue this process over and over and over again. And we'll just continue working with London, asking her to stop, asking her to back up, touching her face, touching her head, until we get to the point where we can really kind of be up here and around her, her face. And at this point, maybe even start asking her for a head down cue, okay? So we'll ask her to go forward, and, and I might add a little pressure to the halter here, downward towards the ground. If she stops her feet, I'm gonna hold pressure and tap. What she did just there is not right. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that response. Say, that's not what I want you to do. Come forward, put your head down. When her head lowers down, even if it's here and it lowers to you know, here where my hand's at, if her pole goes to there, that's all I'm wanting her to do. Just to drop it just a little bit. If it drops a centimeter, release the pressure. If you feel the, the pressure release, you feel her head just kind of release, then release the pressure, all right? Each time I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna say, that's what I want. That's what I want. All right, now back up. 